Home Remedies for Corns on Toes Corns are small circles of hard and thick skin that develop when the skin is exposed to excessive pressure or friction. Corns occur most often in the feet, especially on the top and sides of the toes, soles of the feet and even between the toes. They can also develop in other parts of the body. The most common cause calluses on the feet are walking or running in ill-fitting shoes. Even standing for long periods of time with narrow shoes or high heels can cause calluses. Other possible causes are walking without wearing shoes, shoes without socks, and manual or take part in sports activities that put pressure on the footwork. Thomas Stone Corn and massage area with a pumice stone is an effective remedy. Remove dead pumice, harden skin, in turn, reduce pain and speed recovery time. Before going to bed, soak your feet in warm water comfortably for 10 minutes to soften hard skin. Rub gently with a pumice stone and forth across the affected area for 3 to 5 minutes, and then dry your feet. Dip a cotton ball in castor oil and place it in corn. Secure it with tape and leave overnight. The next morning, remove the dressing and apply castor oil several times a day. Repeat treatment for several days until the corn is totally eliminated. White Vinegar White vinegar is another excellent remedy tried and tested for corns on the feet. The high level of acidity of white vinegar helps soften hard skin. Moreover, their antifungal and antibacterial properties reduce the risk of infection. Before going to bed, mixing one part white vinegar with three parts water, rub this vinegar diluted in corn, cover the area with an adhesive bandage and leave overnight. The next morning, exfoliate the thickened skin with a pumice stone or emery board, apply some coconut oil or olive oil to maintain the hydrated zone, use this remedy once a day until the corn coming out. Baking Soda Baking soda is a natural exfoliating agent that will help get rid of dead skin that covers the corn, which in turn helps the healing process. It also has antifungal and antibacterial properties that help keep the skin free from infections. Add 2 or 3 tablespoons of baking soda in a bowl with hot water. Soak your feet in this solution for 10 to 15 minutes rubbing the affected area with a pumice stone to remove dead skin. Another option is to mix one teaspoon of baking soda, a little lemon juice and water to make a paste. Apply carefully, only in the affected area. Cover with a bandage and leave overnight. The next morning, rinse the pasta with warm water and then gently exfoliate with a pumice stone. You can use any of these remedies once a day until it dries and corn flakes. Lemon Another good home remedy for corns on the feet remedy is the lemon. The citric acid in lemon works to soften hardened skin that forms the corn, so eventually falls. Apply fresh lemon juice on corn and allow to air dry. Do this at least three times a day. You can also take two pieces of cloves in a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice for 15 minutes. Remove the teeth and rub lemon juice on corn, allow to air dry and then apply the juice again. Repeat several times a day. Another option is to mix one teaspoon of brewer's yeast with a little lemon juice to make a thick paste. Spread the paste on corn, cover with a bandage and leave overnight. You can use any of these three remedies every day until you are satisfied with the result. Garlic Garlic is a natural antioxidant and therefore useful in the treatment of corns. Moreover, their antibacterial and antifungal properties prevent infection. Rub up a clove of garlic in corn. Let dry skin, covered with a bandage and leave overnight. The next morning, remove the bandage and wash your feet with warm water. To do this, every night until corn disappears. Alternatively, cut 2 to 3 cloves of garlic into small pieces, add a pinch of salt and then make a paste of it. 
Apply the paste on corn. Fix it with an adhesive bandage and leave for 3 days. On the third day when the dressing is removed, corn also out. If necessary, repeat the process. Another option is to make a paste from 2 cloves of garlic. Add a little vinegar to the paste and then apply it directly on the corn. Place a cotton ball on it and fix it with tape. Leave on for 2 or 3 hours and then remove the tape and clean the area. Repeat daily for several weeks. Turpentine oil Turpentine oil is a strong antiseptic that can help treat corns. The oil penetrates the skin quickly so that the healing time can be faster. Wrap eyes in a thin towel and massage the affected area within for 2 minutes area. Dry the area and rub a little oil of turpentine and corn. Then a bandage over it is placed and leave overnight. Do this every day before going to bed. Alternatively, melt a quarter cup of extra virgin coconut oil in the microwave. Mix in a tablespoon of turpentine oil and two tablespoons of camphor oil. Let the mixture cool, then soak your feet in warm water for a few minutes to dry and then apply this homemade cream in corn. Store the rest in an airtight jar. Repeat two or three times a day. Use one of these remedies regularly until corn leaves. For more videos subscribe our channel Healthy Life.